Good morning, Pleasant Grove. I'm Christine Mitchell. And I'm Christina Cummings, and welcome to Hawk Nation News. As of February 7th, the cell phone campaign results are first place seniors, second place juniors, third place sophomores, and fourth place freshmen. The cell phone drive will end this Friday, February 11th. Old cell phones that are donated do not have to work. Baseball is in full swing starting today. Here's Abigail Cruz with more. Coming off a nearly perfect season with a state ring on their fingers, the baseball team hopes to pick up where they left off last year. Pittsburgh and New Boston have left the district while Paris and North Lamar have joined. Jones feels the team is prepared for this change. With uh, Paris and North Lamar coming in and trading out those two out, it becomes more difficult. This is going to be more difficult, even though we've had a lot of success against Paris and North Lamar the last two years. Uh, they were both former 4A schools, and that's why we played them during the free district and stuff, because they were 4A schools, gave good competition. But now they're in our district as 3A schools, and uh, they're still quality baseball teams. Replacing an experienced pitching core will be difficult, but Michael Ward and Timothy Buchanan hope to take on that challenge. Well, both of them have to get better than what they did last year for uh, us to be really good. Uh, Tim, quality pitcher, is just a sophomore last year. He goes 8-0 last year, but he's got to pitch better and, and be a better pitcher than he was last year for us to be real successful. Uh, Michael Ward was 2-2 two two on the year last year after uh, probably uh, – Five appearances. Uh, he went two and two. Walked too many people. He has good stuff. Dom he has good stuff where he can be dominant, but uh, he's got those strikes and he's got to show more command than what he did last year. Timothy Buchanan, a returning varsity pitcher, knows what it takes to be successful. All right. The key to a winning s season this year is that the pitchers are going to have to come out and throw strikes, and the defense is going to have to play with Coach Jones' speed, and the hitters are going to have to come out hitting hard, swinging like they know how to swing. And that's how pretty much going to happen. Although it's been said before, Coach Jones knows his philosophy works. It's just a matter of what that team did good well last year was we took one game at a time, and I know that's a cliche, but we actually talk about that. If you go out there and just prepare each day that, that you practice to just to be just to get better and get better uh, to be the best you can be, and then if you if you use all that in the game, just take one game at a time. Don't don't be score watching and, and looking ahead to the next week or nothing. Just just give your best effort that day of the game, then we believe things work out for us. And, and uh, I'll do my part and try to prepare them guys for those situations in games, and then it's going to be about them going and playing a game. And the guys take on Brook Hill February 8th. For PGTV, I'm Abigail Cruz. Thanks, Abigail. The Follies have been rescheduled to February 19th. Any sophomore or junior student who wishes to apply for the leadership class next year will need to attend one of the orientations on Monday, February 21st or Tuesday, February 22nd at 7.45 or 3.30. See Mr. Langford if you have any questions. You might only know how to use eggs for cooking, but the physics class has taken a new perspective. Here's Collins Riddell with more. Falling down is always better with a smooth landing. Sarah Montgomery lays down the process they went through to help their egg last. We had to build a container and we did it in a hexagon shape and we built it up until we made the top and we put the beams like little toothpicks in for beams and then we placed the egg in there and we built a lid and we made propellers kind of wings things and then we had to glue it like on top and then we had to let the glue dry and then after that we put in a bucket and Officer Cry and Mr. Harp took it up and then they just dropped it down. It's less a mess to keep your egg from splattering. From PGTV, I'm Collins Riddell. Thanks, Collins. If you plan on taking another day, a date from another school to Sadie, please pick up a dance guest application form from the office. They must be completed, approved, and returned to the office tomorrow. The basketball teams take on the Paris Wildcats tonight. The first game starts at 4.30. Today in the Hawk Rock Cafe, chopped barbecue beef sandwiches, cheesy potatoes, cowboy beans, fruit, and milk. Have a terrific Tuesday, Pleasant Grove, and we'll see you at the games. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, 
one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. 